10 things that will save you a lot of money. It is never too late to make some good changes in your life, especially now that we are in a difficult time. Remember the story of the ant that skipped dancing and playing in the summer and preferred to work hard so it could live happier in the winter? That is exactly what this video will show you, so you can prepare for you and your family's future. Little changes can save you a lot of money, especially if you do it intentionally and consistently over time. You will be surprised how much difference it can make by simply cutting back a few spending and asking yourself smart questions like, Do I need this? How can I save more? How can I be more responsible in handling my finances? If you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe and notification bell for more helpful videos. So let's get into 10 things that will help you save a lot of money. At number 10, Pay off all your debt. If you want to save money, you must get out of your debt as fast as you can. We know it's not easy, but it is possible. Try to create a budget for your debt and pay off the most expensive debt first. If you can pay more than the minimum balance, much better. So you can be free of high interests and quicker for you to start saving. Once you pay off the interest of your debt, that money can be easily put into savings. At number 9. Cut your gym membership. Essentially, staying healthy should not be costly. There are a lot of ways to stay healthy without going to the gym. There are free apps or videos you can follow for routine exercises that you can do in your living room or garage. The average gym membership is about $40 to $50 a month. In simple math, you can save $450 to $500 in a year. Give us a like if a light bulb appears over your head because there are more ways to save money. You'll be shocked to know what's number one. At number eight, drink coffee wisely. We understand coffee first before anything else. It's an essential booster to get you through the day. However, you can still enjoy your black coffee without getting confused that tall is small or grande is medium. You can be more productive by saving trips going to the coffee shop depending on how many times you drink coffee in a day. Two to four dollars of coffee in a day may seem small, but one every day in a year can still add up to your savings. Try brewing your coffee at home instead. The aroma of homemade brewed coffee brings a wonderful effect to your brain and adds up to your pleasure in the morning. At number seven, stop smoking. Be good to yourself and others. You know how bad the effect of smoking is to your health? Much more to others. Just as paying off your debt is not easy, but if you will intentionally cut back half a pack every day until you're down to zero, your lungs will thank you and the world will be a much safer place to live in. Maybe it will give you more motivation to quit when you know that you can save nearly $3,000 a year. Yes, your habit is not only expensive, but deadly as well. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the percentage of Americans who smoke cigarettes is now down to 20% for the first time since the mid-60s. So, why don't you join the club? We want to know when you finally stop smoking. Write to us with your comment. We want to know your progress. At number 6, Cut Cable and Netflix Subscription Yes, you heard me right. With so many forms of available entertainment nowadays, who needs a cable and Netflix? There is no sense in spending more on subscription month after month. There are so many free movie streamings available online. There's Flixster.com, SoapToday.biz, SolarMovies.co, and so on. Take advantage of this free entertainment. That is what they are for, and it's the quickest way to save money. We are halfway on fix that will help you save money. Keep watching until we are down to number one. Next, at number five, pack lunch. Avoid fast food and eating out is one of the quickest way to save money. If you eat in a fast food restaurant, a single meal can cost an average of seven to eight dollars. This adds up to around $40 a week. That's just lunch for one person. If you eat more often than workday lunches or eat with children or friends, it is easy to spend more if you are not careful in managing your budget. The key is to plan your weekly menu. 
you'll be surprised at just how much you can save just by crossing out the fast food habit. Plus, it can have the health benefit for you since you can be more mindful and select only healthier options that you can stock and eat at home. We are down to number four. Reduce the number of your credit cards. We are not telling you to freeze your credit card in the fridge as Isla Fisher did in Shopaholics. We are saying that you need to manage your credit card properly. Maybe just keep one credit card for an emergency. Because if not, it can lead not only to a high balance or maxed out card, but also to debt in the form of interests and fees. At number three, use coupon. This may sound a bit old school, but the coupon is still one of the best ways to save more money. Do not underestimate couponing because it takes an organized shopping skill to get more grocery items while saving as much money as possible. Shoppers can be extreme in couponing, and you can even use it to your favorite shopping centers, restaurants, and other services. So you hold on to your coupons until the item you want goes on sale. Using a coupon on a discounted item will get you the best deal, and you can also save more money by using multiple coupons on the same item. At number two, shop online. You can save money on gas and food when shopping online. You can also compare prices against online retailers. Look at stores that offer free shipping on orders to get the best deals. We are down to the last thing that will help you save money. Brace yourself for number one. Set up automatic transfers to savings. Ultimately, setting a goal on how much you want to save every payday will help you succeed in saving money. If you haven't heard of a mobile transfer, start asking your bank provider on how to set it up. Then, you can set an automatic transfer to your savings account. You can even set a schedule, the date when your work pay will arrive. This way, your finances are more organized and will not mix to your spending budget. Always remember, do not save what is left after spending. Instead, spend what is left after saving. And that's it. We gave you 10 things to help you save a lot of money. Please let us know which one works best for you and write your comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.